Good morning, guys. Hopefully you're having a wonderful morning. I'm having a pretty decent one so far. Unfortunately, Christina is not having a great morning. She had a bit of a rough one getting out the door, forgot a few things, had some trouble with some things, which totally stinks. Hopefully the rest of her day will go very well. My day, again, is going excellent and swimmingly. I'm actually getting ready to head out the door. You know normally I don't do that, but I think I mentioned it yesterday. I have to drive into Lexington this morning. So I have a backpack packed up with gear. It's time to get this day started. You know, I still haven't told you guys where we're going. There's a place called Auto Sound in Lexington, and I'm going there to have a new car stereo installed. Just the head unit, but a couple of days or maybe a week or two ago, I mentioned there was a company that had reached out to me and that I was extraordinarily excited about it. This is it, this is the day. It was Pioneer Electronics. They reached out and said, hey, we've got a whole new line of these head units, network entertainment experience units. They've also got CD ones in it. They had a whole different line of them, but the top end, the flagship devices, basically they've all got Android Auto, they've all got Apple CarPlay, and they offered to give me one and install it in my car for free. So this is a pretty awesome day. So I went back and forth with him over the next few days, finally got it all nailed down, and today's the day. 10 a.m., I'm gonna try to be at the stereo place and come out of this with a pretty snazzy new car stereo. You can't see it, but I'm squeeing like a little girl inside. <laughs> and since it finally clicked for me that Ben John works with Pandora, I've been using the iPhone in the car every time that I'm in the car now because I can do unlimited streaming on it without having to worry about that five gigs of high-speed data that I've got. And actually, now that I'm gonna have a new car stereo, I'll be able to plug in using either the iPhone or the Android phone and access either Siri or Google Now. I am very much looking forward to this. And from what I understand, it's actually got a flip-out, fold-down face so you can stick DVDs in as well. So it can be used as a DVD player, though obviously don't do that while you're driving. And there was something about if you have a second screen, you can play it on the second screen in the back so the parents can be sitting up front doing whatever it is they want to do on the Pandora or the radio and the kids can be in the back watching their Disney movies or whatever else they've got. SpongeBob SquarePants. If you cannot tell, I am extremely excited about this. The only real downside here is just having to drive out early in the morning on a Thursday morning. Probably gonna end up missing my morning meeting at work, but the worst case scenario, I do have an app on my phone that I can connect to that with, so I'd be okay. And the other side is going to Nicholasville Road at this time of the morning, it's gonna be a nightmare. Let's just put it that way. I think if I went earlier, like if I had been going at eight o'clock in the morning, it would have been terrible. Going in at nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, something like that, it's gonna be a little bit easier. Let's just hope there's not a whole lot of traffic. Knock on wood. And I'm here. Uh, everything's set up, they're getting ready to start working on it, and he said it should take about an hour and a half or so, maybe as much as two hours. So I'm just getting settled in here in their, their little waiting room and probably pull out my laptop, see if I can get to work. Well, I've been pretty decently productive so far this morning. I was able to make it to my morning meeting, so I just sat here and did the meeting. I also edited two videos up, so I finished up the River Song HR video, although I'm very tempted to go back and do some updates on it, maybe just a second video, I don't know. I also finished up the video on the Smatry headphone charging case, so that one's done, it's ready to go up. A couple more videos to do, but I forgot to bring my laptop charger. It's not dead, it's at like 60%, but I'm gonna take a break for a little bit. Well, it's 11.30, it is pouring rain now, but I did manage to get everything set up and installed. I've got it right here in front of me. I'm gonna be working on the video for that over the next couple of days. I'm not going to have it done today or anything because of the rain. But I did get a lot of good footage of JP from Auto Sound showing me how it works. And he said he's perfectly cool with me, including that footage in the video. So that's awesome. But I have got to run home because FedEx is going to be there any time now. And I would hate to miss a package delivery two days in a row. Because on the third day, they send it back. So a little while later, actually, I'm home now. I, I had a little chance to test out the CarPlay in the car on the way home works wonderfully. I tested out Android Auto once I got here because for whatever reason the, the cable I had for the HTC 10 wouldn't work with the car. So when I got home I got the Galaxy S7 set up. It works just fine. I used the official HTC 10 cable with the HTC 10. It seems to be working. I didn't go through the whole setup on that. I'm going to do that on video in a little while. But the funny thing is, okay, two packages showed up today. One was a, another new Loom Cube. One of the ones they sent me had a little bit of an issue with heating and they were more than happy to take care of it so they've swapped that out for me. But the funny thing is, the FedEx package that I missed yesterday because I was at the, the bank getting a new bank account, the, the FedEx package was apparently from HTC. They sent me an email the other day saying something about how being a, an HTC fan, they're gonna send me something else. And it was to my personal account. It didn't have anything to do with being on YouTube or anything like that. And what showed up today was an HTC USB Type-C reversible cable. Very cool. And I haven't opened these yet, but there were two envelopes in there that both say open me. So I figure we'll open it up and see what it says. It says, for being an awesome fan and purchasing the HTC 10 at HTC.com, we want to thank you with an extra USB-C cable. On top of that, we're giving you uh-oh protection at no extra cost. I think I already had uh-oh protection. I think that comes with it. 
Let's see what the other one says. It's exactly the same thing. So yeah, two cards, exactly the same. But I am absolutely not complaining about a free USB Type-C cable. The new car stereo did not come with a USB Type-C cable, but like I said, I did test it out with one and it does appear to work appropriately, so this is going right in the car. I, the funny thing is I had actually avoided opening the HTC cable, the one that comes in the package, because I figured, one, I would either put everything back in there and sell it, or two, I may return it, but I, I ended up not returning it. I, I kind of like the phone a lot. And it's like right after I unpackaged the cable earlier, this one shows up. Good timing. Still, always very nice to have an excellent USB Type-C cable around the house. Well, I have officially made another mess. That's okay, though. Not as big of a mess either, but uh, took a little bit of time and unboxed this ridiculously awesome little Bluetooth speaker. I say little speaker, this thing puts out a, a huge, just a massive amount of sound. And I like the big button on the end, even though that's not a button. Just a rubber cover for the button underneath, but still, it's fun and it works. I also did the unboxing of the Anchor batteries that I mentioned the other day, as well as the braided cable. I, I've got this bad habit of just, as I get done filming something, I kind of put it in the floor next to me, and then I end up with the pile next to me that I have to go through later. Not a big deal though. I do, I keep saying that I've still got to go through these boxes and sort out where everything in them is gonna go. Headphones and cables and cables and headphones and chargers and just lots of stuff in those boxes and a lot of it's gonna end up in these drawers. Just haven't done it yet. More often than not, if I'm in here and I'm sitting down, I'm probably gonna start working on video stuff as opposed to cleaning and that's a real problem. That's something I need to address. I still have to make a video about this. This is a case for the Phantom 3 or Phantom 4 and that literally is gonna take me like five to 10 minutes to make that video. I just haven't done it yet. Because I have a feeling when I do it, I'm going to have to move the camera setup around. I'm going to have to make this all taller to make it fit. I'm just not a huge fan of doing that. Maybe I should do it in a different room. Maybe I should do it in a different setup or... So I don't know. Maybe just do it only with the overhead camera instead of with the front facing as well. Maybe. I'm very tempted to go ahead and do that just to get it over with, but I think... If I can work it out, I'm going to go ahead and take the time and try to fly this quadcopter I've been talking about for so long. Finish that video up. Man, there's a lot of videos in the works and I am really cranking it out now. Feeling good about this. This is an amazing day. Plus, I found out the issue that I was having with the, the stuff I was doing for my day job. Fixed that. I'm able to create things again so the stuff that I'd broken is now fixed. Trying to get my sorting and filtering working and it looks like it's super, super close. It's just not updating for some reason. Oh look, we're all home. We are gonna have some chicken. Ellis has already had his bottle. As soon as we got home, he demanded it. He's learning how to give kisses back and kind of glom. Of course, he's distracted at the moment. He's trying to raspberry in my face. Oh. 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 <laughs> Get her. almost 10 o'clock. Duncan's in bed. Christina went upstairs to take a shower. She's had a very long day and just needs to wash her hair and relax and whatnot. Ellis is completely zonked out in the bassinet over there. After his last bottle, he just, he, he immediately passed out. As soon as I sat him up to burp him at the end, he was just, he was out. So as you probably have just seen, I went ahead and took a little bit of time. As I saw the sun setting, I took the drone outside. First time I've taken it out in a while. We're actually gonna be going out of town to see Christina's family this weekend and I'm hoping to be able to take it with me, but I've got a feeling that's not gonna be possible, unfortunately. We're going to Christina's family, one, just to see her family, but two, much more importantly at this particular time, to have another yard sale. Now, unfortunately, I think it's actually gonna be raining this weekend, so we may not be able to have that yard sale. But still, we have several boxes worth of stuff that have to go along with us. And if we've learned anything, our vehicle, while it is pretty decently sized, is not quite big enough to hold. The four of us, with the dog, with all of our stuff for the weekend, and then anything else. I'm definitely going to have to refresh my man packing, my Tetris skills. I could probably work it out. I'll, I'll try to figure something out. 
basically the drone will be the last thing to go in. If there's room for it, I'll put it in. If there's not, I guess I just won't. I guess the absolute worst case scenario, I could pull a KC Neistat and just attach it to my backpack, not actually pack it inside of something, but have it there and ready to go and just not worry about actually having it protected. Kinda hate to do that. Worst case scenario. Maybe worst case scenario there, I'll take like the batteries and the charger and everything, put it inside of my bag or my, my backpack or something, and then just have the drone freestanding. That's another option. Scary one, but an option. And this little one just got his bath. She finally had to wake him up. He just, he was out. He was done for the night. So he got his bath and fought the whole time. But he's done and he's clean. He's about to have a bottle and hopefully go to bed after that. You ready for your bottle? I think that's a yes. He didn't say anything, but that's probably a yes. Well, he's had his bottle. He's certainly in a pretty good mood. He's a lot more awake than he was earlier. Maybe not for long. You may pass out here shortly. You're feeling pretty good though. Got a full belly. Time to go to bed. Night night. Happy boy. Happy boy. And there you go. It is 11.30 p.m. or so. I've gone ahead and got Ellis into bed. I think I'm actually gonna spend just a little bit of time in my office cleaning up the mess that I made earlier. Between everything of the drone that's out, everything was charging for that, just in case I get to take it. All the stuff from the unboxings earlier and just cables and everything everywhere. I'm gonna try to see what I can do to clean up a little bit in there. And I need to do it quickly because I was already falling asleep while I was sitting here holding Ellis, getting him to go to sleep. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you again tomorrow.